Hey guys, welcome back. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2019, the year of Halo Infinite. <laughs> At the start of last year, I made a video talking about what I expect from Halo that year. No, like, crazy left field predictions, just a bunch of semi grounded guesstimations. These guesstimations were hit or miss, to say the least, but I did get a few predictions about Halo 6 and also the Halo TV show pretty much bang on, so now that we actually know something concrete about Halo Infinite, I figured that today it'd be fun to try and break in 2019 by doing this again. So, what can we expect from Halo Infinite in 2019? Well, let's start off with the most obvious thing, the game's release. The one question on literally every single person's mind right now is will Halo Infinite release in 2019? And my prediction is a big fat no. For years, I was adamant that it'd launch in 2018, and now I doubt that it's even gonna launch in 2019. Can I get a big fucking yikes in the comments, please, my boys? But for real, why do I think this? Well, personally, I just think there's too many factors against it. Like, firstly, all we've seen so far is an engine demo. No missions, no gameplay, not even like any in-game cutscenes or assets or anything. Literally just a look at the new engine that they've made for the game. Evidently, this means that no aspect of the game is ready even slightly to be shown off yet. And if that was the case in mid-2018, then I highly doubt that in just over a year of development time, it'd go from that to a fully functioning, polished, content-rich game. Secondly, there's the flighting program. Like, with how 343 are talking about this program and how it seems to be a longer-term system of alpha and beta testing the game, unless it starts, like, next week, then having the game released later this year just simply wouldn't give 343 enough time to thoroughly test, like, loads of different versions and iterations of the game with us, and then take the feedback that we give them and act on it before launch. When Infinite does eventually launch, that game has to be better than fucking perfect. After Halo 4, MCC, and Halo 5, 343 really need to come out swinging and absolutely just blow people's expectations away. I mean, they know that, we know that, at least we're all on the same page. The worst way that they could screw that up would be if all of the feedback that we gave them from the flighting program wasn't implemented at launch and was like instead held back for the first major content update for the game or something. There would be no worse way to start the game off than that. For the sake of Infinite's long-term popularity and integrity, that literally just can't happen. It, it just could there's no there's no two ways about it. That cannot happen. And therefore, I really doubt the release is gonna be this year. And thirdly, as if you needed any more evidence, Microsoft have their other juggernaut franchise releasing a new game this year. Gears 5 is releasing this fall, the same time that Halo usually launches, and I highly doubt that Microsoft would, like, just dump their two biggest first-party games, both of which are highly anticipated in the span of two months. Unless, for some reason, they're trying to rake in even bigger bucks than usual during their quarter four, it honestly just makes no sense dropping their entire first-party load at the same time, when instead, they could very easily just stagger the releases by a year and then drop Halo Infinite in fall 2020, and in turn, make a shitload more short-term and long-term revenue. So, when the hell is Infinite actually gonna launch then? Well, right now, the most commonly agreed-upon date is fall 2020, and honestly, I 100% buy this. Like, firstly, it gives 343 enough time to run a long flighting program, gather shitloads of data and feedback, and then act on said data and feedback and ensure that it's all polished and nice and up to par for launch. Secondly, it makes sense that it'd be next year, given that Gears 5 is releasing this year. And thirdly, and most importantly, in my opinion, it lines up absolutely perfectly with the launch of the next Xboxes, currently codenamed Lockhart and Anaconda. The entire rumor mill right now seems to be on the same page in that these Xboxes are going to be launching in fall 2020. And after the awful era that Xbox have had with the Xbox One, combined with all of the high for Infinite right now, despite us barely having seen anything, what better way would there be to try and launch the next era of Xbox into success than launching alongside the most hyped Halo game in a decade? 
it just lines up way too perfectly, in my opinion. If Infinite really does end up being as good as it's looking, then having it be a launch title for this next Xbox family would be a match made in heaven. Hell, maybe the reason that 343 have had to create this new engine in the first place is so that Infinite can truly make the most of the new Xbox hardware. With all this said, however, don't freak out if you don't plan on getting the next Xbox right away. 343 have pretty much confirmed multiple times now that Infinite will be available on current gen, so there's no need to worry there. One thing though that's kind of cool that I did notice is that it's either incredibly coincidental or incredibly fitting, depends which way you look at it, that Halo Infinite, a game that very clearly takes a shed load of inspiration from Halo Combat Evolved, could end up being the first Halo game since Halo Combat Evolved to launch at the same time as a new Xbox. Just some food for thought there. Okay, so moving on to something a little bit more optimistic. What do I think we'll actually get this year? Well, firstly, I think that up to E3, we're going to get a sort of slow trickle of news, kind of like what we've had in the past few weeks. I don't think anything crazy is going to get revealed or anything, but we'll definitely know more about Halo Infinite in a few months than we do now. I'd like to think that a community reveal event for Halo Infinite could be a possibility too, like what a lot of other franchises are doing at the moment. But, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Given how community-oriented 343 have become though, it does seem fitting for them to invite a load of members of the community who have given so much to the Halo franchise to a special reveal event for Infinite, a game that was built with fan feedback at the forefront. I'd love for this to happen, but as far as we know for now, there's no evidence at all that suggests that it will do, and so that makes E3 the nearest event that we're going to get any meaty details from. Now, at E3, I'm expecting quite a lot, and to be honest, I don't think it's exactly too far-fetched for me to expect a lot. I reckon that at the very least, we're going to get a new trailer that this time is an actual in-game trailer that shows what the game will actually look like as opposed to an engine demo. More realistically though, I wouldn't be surprised at all if we got a campaign trailer that sort of teased the overall narrative of the game. Sort of like what that original MCC trailer did with Locke and Arbiter talking that teased Halo 5's story. All things considered, that trailer was a really fucking good way to get people hyped and to get people talking about Halo 5's story because now there were actually a few concrete details out there. And something like that for Halo Infinite could really tide the community over for a while, as well as keep the hype train going for the game. In the same vein, I think that we're also going to get a gameplay reveal of some sort too. I highly doubt that they're going to show off a campaign mission or anything like that, that seems a little bit too far off, but some sort of gameplay reveal really wouldn't surprise me, especially given my next prediction. The announcement that the flighting program will begin sometime in the fall. With the game very likely dropping in fall 2020 and 343 wanting the flighting program to be a sort of long-term thing that starts off small and then gradually grows in members over time before then also coming to PC, I fail to see how they couldn't start it this year. If they started it next year, I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like it wouldn't be around long enough to be as effective as they want it to be and as effective as we all need it to be. And so, I'm happy to say that we can round this video off on a positive note. I do genuinely hand on heart believe that by the end of this year, we will have played Halo Infinite. And that finally, after all these years, after all this waiting, the game's release will actually be on the horizon. So, with all that said, what do you guys think? Do any of you believe that maybe, just maybe, the game will release this year? Or are you maybe as pessimistic slash realistic as me and think that this year is totally off the cards and is way too soon? Let me know down in the comments because I'm sure that there's some extremely varied opinions on this. So thank you to everybody supporting me over on Patreon. I really do appreciate it. And thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one.